going on, guys? It's Jordan here, bringing you another Black Ops gameplay commentary. I almost said Mono 3 right there. But this is another Black Ops gameplay commentary. And uh, I'm not going to be talking about the gameplay that much. It's just a really good gameplay. Uh, I think it was my first game of the day a couple days ago. And uh, it was just a really good game. I was playing like a full party, and, uh, and we just basically wrecked this team. So it was a pretty good game. I believe I went like 51-3 and three or something. So hope you guys enjoy that in the background. But, guys, in this gameplay... As I did reach 1,000 subscribers, uh, I do appreciate that from you guys. But I wanted to do something that might help you guys on, you know, your YouTube stuff if you're trying to do this as like maybe a career or you know a hobby or something. Uh, it's just how to become a better gameplay commentator. Um, for me, I started off very terrible. But uh, before I get into like you know my progression as a YouTube commentator, this is gonna be a little two-part series I'm gonna do, and uh, I, I know that uh, some of you guys might be struggling with some you know of your comment like some of your commentating, some of your commentaries. God damn, I, I see I'm not even good right now. Uh, some of your commentaries and maybe some of your gameplay. So, anyways, this is gonna be the gameplay portion of that two-part series. Uh, the other one will be. Uh, at a later time, probably tomorrow or on the weekend, uh, probably Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, if I don't get around to it. And look at this guy. I don't know what the hell this guy was doing. But, um, guys, the gameplay portion of your, you know, your gameplay commentary has to be something that's very, very good or something that is entertaining to watch. Like, you don't want to, you know, nobody wants to see a gameplay where you just, like, lay in a corner or, you know, just camp, you know, open a building with a claymore to your back, because people are going to hate on you, people are going to, like, leave down comments in a, in a comment section saying that you guys are, like, you are bad at playing Call of Duty or playing Battlefield or whatever that you play, they're going to say you're bad because you camp, and that's why you only, you know, only do good because you camp. Now, for me, my gameplays, I usually like to rush around, I only, you know, for, for me, I only start camping, like, start playing a little more defensively when I you know, get close to my kill streaks. Like right here, I mean, I would have rushed your spawn if I wasn't if I was on like a two kill streak. But since I was close, I got my blackbird right there. So, you know, that's the way I do it. I just like you know want to you know rush your spawn until I get like a six kill streak and then just like stay back for, to get my kill streaks because then I'll I know that I can get them. So you just don't want a gameplay where you just like laying in the same building for like seven minutes and don't move anywhere and have a claymore to your back because people. Are not going to enjoy that. People want to see, you know, high action gameplays. Like, for example, I'm just going to put in there like the Market J or something where he like rushes to spawn or Fear Crads or something where they rush to spawn and it's very entertaining to watch. And uh, I think it's just, you know, very fun to watch. And they also have high scoring gameplays, which is also entertaining to watch because, you know, just seeing like Beast of Firing on Noobs is just really fun to watch because, you know, just to see their tactics, the way, you know, the way they shoot. I meant the way they shoot, <laughs> the way they play, and the way that they uh, move around the map. It can really be helpful to a lot of you guys. Uh, just you know, if if you guys don't you know like my gameplays, go to the go to theirs because those are really really good. Uh, really good, really good gameplays. God, see, I'm not even good at commentary, but I get to that uh, in a couple of days. But um, anyways, uh, also for your gameplays, you don't want you know a low scoring or negative gameplay. You like I said before, you want a high scoring or maybe um, like a 2KD at least gameplay, like, you don't want something where you go 17 and 17 with, like, a FAMAS or something, or a Tide 95, you want something where you go, like, in this, in this gameplay, it's a 51 and 3, see, that's good enough to post on YouTube, because that's, like, a 12 and a half KD or something like that, and, uh, you want something like that, because, you know, if you're just gonna go negative on your gameplays, then I don't think anybody wants to watch you just die all the time, because, People want to see you actually succeed in your game rather than see you fail and get owned by the other team. See, these guys, if they posted up a gameplay of this, uh, I think they all went negative. People will not enjoy that. People will not enjoy them getting killed every other second because I don't think it's very enjoyable for people to watch. And, uh, I mean, I know for me kill streaks aren't enjoyable to watch, but um, if you if I get my kill streaks, then uh, I think I'm able to use them, you know what I mean? So, you know. I don't, I don't know what I said about kill streaks there, but just forget about that. So, yeah, just don't, like, post up a game where you're going to be negative or going negative or, you know, br barely breaking even because, you know, people, like I said before, they don't they, – I mean, some people don't really strive for gameplay, but it really helps. Like, if you're not really that good of a commentator, it really helps if your gameplay 
uh, is really outstanding. I mean, you can have good gameplay and good commentary, then you're set to go. But if your gameplay is not met up with your commentary, then, you know, there's something wrong. There's something missing. So, you know, just get, like, high scoring, high action gameplays, and uh, then you'll be good to go. And then, you know, if you have a good commentary, then you'll be good to go too. And also, guys, um, this is just my personal opinion on, you know, gameplays and stuff. If you use Assassin or Ghost or anything, and you're not using it the way it's supposed to be, like, you know, you're just, you know, cautiously moving around the map and, you know, move every couple minutes um, from, like, one spot to another. I'm sorry, but that's not a good gameplay for me. I mean, even if you go, like, 49 and 2 or something, that's not that's not a gameplay I like to enjoy because, first of all, using the, using the perk that makes you invisible to everything called Assassin or you're making something that makes you invisible to air support and you or spy planes which is ghost so i think you're already at an advantage there and you don't really need that much help and uh i just really think it's boring to watch when i see a guy just you know laying laying around just to get these kill streaks using like assassin or ghost because it's kind of a cheap it's kind of those two perks are probably the cheapest perks in call of duty uh that i've witnessed i mean second chance is pretty bad but you know you don't want to use like the newbie perks like Ghost and Second Chance and all that, so and Assassin and all that, because people want to see where you can actually rush. Because right here, I'm using a Hardline slot and, and Marathon, and I like to run Marathon because I like to run around the map, and I use Hardline because I like to get my kill streaks faster. I don't want to like, use Ghost because I hate Ghost and uh, I just you know I just despise of it, and um, you know it's just I think it's more entertaining for you guys to watch me get action toward me. Like, using, like, you know, rushing around with the marathon and, you know, Galil with an unsu unsuppressed Galil rather than somebody with a suppressed, you know, gun and, you know, ghost or something. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, it was quick little gameplay. It was about six minutes. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. 51-3, uh, I'm Saints, and I'm out. Thank you guys again for 1K.